I'm E. Lockhart. I'm the author of Genuine Fraud. The novel is a psychological thriller about two young women who look enough alike to share a passport. Their friendship is very intense. It becomes toxic and eventually violent. It's a story about identity and the American dream and class mobility. It has accents and wigs and a lot of blood. I'm gonna read you a taster. This is from a little ways into the novel in which the main character, Jewel West Williams, is in Las Vegas. Jewel had never been to Vegas. She changed her clothes in the bathroom at the bus station. The sink area was inhabited by a white woman in her 50s with a granny cart. She was sitting on the counter, eating a sandwich wrapped in greasy white paper. She wore dirty black leggings on narrow thighs. Her hair was teased up high, gray and blonde, was matted. Her shoes were on the floor, pale pink stilettos. Her bare feet, with band-aids on the heels, swung in the air. Jewel went into the biggest stall and dug through her case. She put on her hoop earrings, wiggled into a dress she bought, short and black, paired with leather platform heels. She got out the red wig. It was unnaturally sleek, but the color looked good with her freckles. Jewel took out the makeup box, closed her bag, and went to the sink. The woman sitting on the counter didn't remark on the change of hair color. She crumpled her sandwich wrapper and lit a cigarette. Jewel's makeup skills came from watching online tutorials. For most of the last year, she'd been wearing what she thought of as college girl makeup, natural skin, blush, your lips, mascara. Now she brought out fake eyelashes, green shadow, black liner, base, contouring brushes, eyebrow pencil, coral gloss. It wasn't really necessary. She didn't need the cosmetics, the dress, or the shoes. The wig was probably enough. Still, the transformation was good practice. That was how she thought of it. And she liked becoming someone else. The other woman spoke as Jewel finished her eyes. You a working girl? Jewel answered just for fun in her Scottish accent. No. I mean, you selling yourself? No. Don't sell yourself. So sad, you girls. I'm not. It's a shame that's all I'm saying. Jewel was silent. She applied highlighter to her cheekbones. I did that job, the woman went on. She lowered herself off the counter and stuffed her messed up feet into the shoes. No family anymore, no money. That was how I started and it's no different now. It's not a way up, even with high rolling guys, you should know that. Jewel shrugged into a green cardigan and picked up her case. Don't worry about me, I'm fine, honestly. Dragging the bag behind her, she headed for the door, but she stumbled slightly in the unfamiliar shoes. You all right? The woman asked. Oh yeah, it's hard to be a woman sometimes. Yeah, it pretty much sucks except for the makeup, Jewel said. She pushed through the door without looking.